showers, strong winds causing blowing and drifting snow as we go throughout uh, the next 24 hours. Uh, winter weather advisory goes into effect later tonight. It lasts until 6 o'clock tomorrow, and it's not for falling snow, but near blizzard conditions because of blowing snow. 45 mile an hour wind gusts kick in tonight, and that's going to cause great reduced visibility and blowing and drifting snow on certain roads. Now, this is mostly out in open areas and along rural highways, uh, so if you're in town, you probably won't notice this quite as much, but as soon as you get out of the city or town, probably will see widespread drifting and reduced visibility. Those winds start kicking in this evening, and we're already seeing plenty of snow blowing onto the road, especially uh, east to west roads, and even if it doesn't really drift up that much, you're still looking at some pretty slick conditions, even just the, that thin layer of snow blowing back on the road. Now, this will worsen after about 9 o'clock, uh, and then up until midnight, mainly sticking to those east to west roads. A cold front comes through right around midnight, and that'll cause the winds to switch direction to out of the west. So that means north to south running roads are the ones that are going to be slick and possibly full of snow drifts between about midnight to 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And or no matter which way the wind is blowing, uh, some greatly reduced visibility, possibly near whiteout conditions in open areas coming along with this. So travel with plenty of caution. You're going to see some snow covered roads. You'll see some snow drifts and then might be a little harder to see when the winds really start to get going going into early tomorrow morning. On top of all this may seem some scattered snow showers. You can see that for the most part these are flurries and a lot of the accumulation stays to our north. But we could get a dusting around the state line over the course of tonight and into tomorrow morning as that snow shower activities in the region. So uh, another hazard to watch out for on top of the strong winds. Uh, so for tonight we're down to 15 with that blowing snow continuing. Uh, we'll continue to be cold and windy with gusts up to 45 miles per hour starting out of the south and then switching to out of the west and 15 might be about as warm as it gets as temperatures drop throughout the day tomorrow. That's as much colder air works in. We'll continue to have the scattered flurries, strong winds up until six o'clock and then the possibility of wind chill staying near minus 10 all throughout the day tomorrow. And that's one of the bigger stories moving forward is the harsh cold that moves in behind all of this. Sub zero wind chill values possible starting tomorrow and lasting through Saturday. So that's three days worth of sub zero wind chill values. The worst of it coming as of Thursday night will could be near minus 25 by that point. So that means frostbite within 30 minutes if you're not careful. You can see during the day temperatures barely warming up the next couple of days. The teens at the warmest could stay in the single digits for Friday. Saturday has a big warm up to the point where we're seeing possibly rain showers as temperatures get above freezing. Then we drop back down again after that. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, conditions continue to dance back and forth between very cold and somewhat mild as we see above freezing weather possible again next week, Brittany. Alex, thanks for that.